Hi friends. Yeah, don't know what I was gonna say. Hi friends, thanks so much for being here. In this video, we'll be unboxing two prints from the very talented Slovakian artist known as Seaside Spirits. He does a lot of wonderful things for the Harry Potter community and he did the artwork for the Little Magical Crate themed wizard tournaments. And guess what? These two prints can be yours. Yes, you heard that right. This is an unboxing, but also a giveaway. This is not affiliated in any way. I just love to support small businesses within the Harry Potter community. And this is an amazing artist that I just really want to support. And I also really want to give back to you guys as a thank you for your support. So the first part of this video will be all about the prints. And after that, I will explain the rules for this giveaway. Here they are, the two prints from Seaside Spirit. I ordered these over at hellomellow.eu. I will leave all his links in my description. Before I open these, I want to talk a little bit about this very talented artist. And of course, thank my patrons, because thanks to you guys, this is all possible. You're amazing people. Thank you so much. And if you feel like it is something for you, definitely come join us. Head over to patreon.com, type in my name, or click on the link in my description. Seaside Spirit. Honestly, I feel like a lot of people within the Harry Potter community will already know about this artist. He's from Slovakia, which is an Eastern European country. And Seaside Spirit's real name is Adrian Mako, if that's how you pronounce it. And he is an illustrator, writer, creative thinker, and dreamer from Slovakia. And he's a Hufflepuff. Not only does he make beautiful artwork, he also does Harry Potter book covers. And as I said in the beginning, he also works with other magical companies like Literacrete. And when you look at his website, it says something about how this company was created. The story of Mello began before Christmas 2016 when Adrian wondered what present he would give to his loved ones under the tree. Being creative, he thought of drawing a pillow in the shape of a fox. He managed to get a few meters of fabric printed and sewed the first fox pillow on his sewing machine at home. It had a big success and that is how the story of mellow pillows began. So this guy does a lot. He illustrates children's books, he makes prints, he makes pillows, he sells shirts, socks, and if you have children and need inspiration for their room, just a look at his wall stickers and his posters. And when you go to his website, hellomellow.eu, there's also a Harry Potter section. And over there, you can buy for very reasonable prices, in my opinion, a lot of beautiful things like the Harry Potter book covers, 20th anniversary edition. Apparently he also illustrated History of Magic. I did not know that. And he also did a illustrated edition of the Tales of Beetle the Bard. And when you go over to his prints, I mean, these are just gorgeous. And again, at such an affordable price. At the moment I'm filming this, which is the 6th of February, he has six prints in his shop and they are all limited editions. Oh, and I can see that one of them is sold out. Enough about this amazing, talented artist. Let's take a look at the prints. And don't forget, at the end of this video, I will tell you how these two prints can be yours. I'm just so excited about this giveaway because I just know for sure that people within this community will absolutely love these art prints. So there's one and there's two. I don't know which to open first. I'm just gonna go with this one. Box number one. Inside, there is this. There is a very cute stamp on here and a wax seal. Look at that. That already feels so magical. I'm going to be really careful here because I want it to look exactly the same as when I received it. When we open it up, this is inside. I'm so excited to see these prints. Uh, there's even a little stamp on here that has his initials. Okay. Oh, I'm so excited. <laughs> Look at those colors. That is 
so beautiful. These prints are only 29 euros. That's insane. That's, that's insane. <laughs> like, bye Rina Lima. Hello, Adrian Mako. Apparently this is print 108 out of 250. His signature is at the bottom and the year it was made. So that was 2021. And this is just amazing. So I've chosen this one because I just really love the whole aesthetic of this print. The owl at the top. We have Buckbeak sitting between the pumpkins over at Hagrid's hut. It's snowy outside. There's a light in Hagrid's hut. So probably Hagrid is home. And if you look a little bit closer, you can see each individual hair on the owl's head. And I love that the owl is like popping out of the frame. So it's almost like we're looking inside this window. This is honestly one of the most beautiful magical prints that I've ever seen. This is such a talented artist. And again, those colors, they just pop right out of the screen. This painting has more color than me. It's really, really, really beautiful. Let's go over print number two. This one has a character. Ooh, interesting. There's something else in here. So he added a card and a bookmark and the bookmark has Hogwarts Express on it. There's an owl flying above it and we can see Hogwarts Castle in the background and we can see six characters. Ron and Harry, Hermione, and probably Neville. And at the back, there's Draco and probably Goyle. That is so pretty. And then there's the card. Good luck getting it flat. I am just not going to touch it. But it looks really, really pretty. It reminds me of those Mina Lima postcards. So again, we can see Hogwarts Castle with a moon and a lot of owls in the background. And then there's a cauldron at the bottom and the smoke coming out of the cauldron is making a path towards Hogwarts. That's really nice that he adds those two little things. Let's take a look at print number two. Let's pop it open. There we go. Are you guys ready? I'm in love. So we have got print number 230 of 250. And again, at the bottom, his stamp, his autograph, and then the year 2021. So this print has kind of the same setup as the previous one. There's an owl at the top and an owl feather at the bottom. And I'm just gonna assume that that is head week. There's another golden frame. So it kind of looks like we're looking inside the magical worlds. And there's Harry sitting on a pillow with his book, his green eyes, in his Gryffindor robes. And he is surrounded by trunks. So I'm guessing this is a part of the Gryffindor common room. And behind Harry, there's this beautiful window. It's almost like the sun is setting. And then next to him, there's a little cauldron. There's a pretty big broom, a pointy wizard's hat with a lion on it. There's also a little crystal ball and a Gryffindor scarf. I mean, this looks so magical and I'm really impressed with the quality. I'm always curious how these things are made, but I'm pretty sure that this is digital artwork. And I'm just always amazed of how much detail they can get into these prints. And those colors, oh, I love it. This is, I love it. What do you need to do to win these two beautiful and magical prints made by Adrian? I'm gonna keep this very simple. Step one, subscribe to this channel. And step two, comment your favorite company, artist, 
creative person within the Harry Potter community. And this can be literally anyone. This can also be someone that you really like on Instagram or a YouTuber or a magical subscription box or an artist. This way, when we read each other's comments, we get inspired to support more small businesses. So subscribe and comment and you're in. And that was it for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, then please give it a thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching and let's stay in touch.